So uh, we're looking at the cross section of an airplane wing, um, and they're measuring the thickness of the wing at 20 centimeter intervals. So because the whole length is 200, what they did was they cut it up into uh, their analysis is considering 10 chunks that are of the same size. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw these chunks. So this should be um, about half. That's, yeah, about half. And then let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, and how many measurements do they give us? They give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they do give us the measurements of the the endpoints, right? Um, so for the measurements of the endpoints, let's see, this is, and I'll have to draw this kind of smaller. This over here is uh, 5.8 and then 20.3. Uh, maybe I'll draw these in alternating sections. So um, this is 5.8, 20.3, um, 26.7, 29, 27.6, 27.3, 23.8, 25, 15.1, 8, uh, 15.1, 8.7, and lastly, 2.8. Um, so they do want us to use the midpoint rule to estimate the area of the wing's cross section. So to use the midpoint rule is we're going to um, consider taking points in the middle of two sections. So this would be in the middle of two sections. This one would be two, and then kind of just drawing rectangles, right? So let us draw these rectangles. Uh, so this would be the first. This would be the first chunk of area. Um, this over here would be the the second chunk of area. Uh, I'll just yeah, this would be the the second chunk of area. Uh, what about the third? Let's do it in a different color. This over here, yeah, it would be the third. Um, the fourth one would be from this midpoint over here. And lastly, the, the fifth would be, uh, I don't know why I raised these on the middle. Just remember that these are the midpoints. And lastly, the fifth would be, um, let's see. The fifth would be over, the fifth one would be over here. So all I have to do now is to sum up these areas. And now remember that the area of a rectangle is just the height, which we've evaluated here at the midpoint, um, times the the base, right? And the base, because the base is comprised of these two sections together, and each of them was 20 centimeters, the base will be 40 centimeters. So um, the first rectangle, and I'll, I'll do that with the proper color. So the first rectangle that we had, the base was 40, and the height was 20.3, which was the first midpoint. And then the second rectangle, so the second rectangle was the base was 40 and the height was 29. And then the third rectangle, the base was 40 and the height was, let's see, the height 27.3, yeah, 27.3. Um, the fourth rectangle was 40 and the height was what's in the middle 20.5 yes 20.5 and lastly the fifth rectangle um the fifth rectangle the base was 40 and the height was 8.7 yes the height was 8.7 so all we have to do is we have to add these up so let's factor out to 40 because they all have 40 in common. And then that is 8.7 plus 
20.3 um, plus 29 plus 27.3, 27.3 plus 20.5, 20.5. So when we calculate this, uh, well, my handwriting is terrible. This is 40 times, let's add this up, 8.7 plus 20.3 plus 29 plus 27.3 plus 20.5. And I actually, I want to clean this up just so that you guys can can see it a little better because my handwriting really did suck there. 20.3 plus 29 plus 27.3 and plus 20.5. Okay, that's better. So that is um, 40 times 105.8, which is equal to, let's see, times 40. 4,232, and because our units are centimeters, so this is centimeters squared. And that is the area of our, um, of the cross-section of our airplane wing.